Hello everyone, Philip Moisan here. This is the second video that I will do in the series about Facebook. Uh, as Facebook is in uh, May, actually June 2012, because, uh, well, Facebook has made a lot of changes in 2011 and uh, there have not been too many changes uh, recently, so it's uh, easy to, to follow. Um, okay, so we are on my timeline and uh, if you want to be on your timeline what you need to do is to click at the right, the top right here on your name or your picture and you would get on this page. Okay, two things that I want to show you uh, first in this video. If you click on the activity log, okay, so it says what what happened, uh, what uh, happened today uh, when you were active at Facebook. Uh, well, it says here June 2012, it shows uh, today, today is June 1st. Um, okay, so it's it says that I like to post. It tells what what time I did that. If you put your mouse over the thumb up, well, it tells you that I really liked something, and it tells you who other who else liked uh, a post or something that you saw. Uh, if it was a wall photo, you can see it. You could even click on it and see what it, what the photo is. Uh, here it says that there is one comment, or in this case here, 31 comments from this post by Cher Pierce. Uh, here it says public, so this post was, uh, this thing was posted uh, to everyone by the person who posted it. Uh, here in this case it's I am for internet marketing. It's a list that I created because um, most of the time at Facebook I am active for my online marketing activities and but I do have uh, offline friends who are not uh, in online marketing at all. I do not want to annoy them with everything I do online for my business. So, in most cases, the things that I do, I post them to the, 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 the people here, the IM people, the, the members, the friends who are in that list, because, I, well, I have uh, around 800 friends, and uh, I would say probably 50 of them are offline friends, people that I've known for many years, and the, all, all the others are for online marketing, and all these people are into the I am list. Uh, so I recommend that you create such a list or you can have different lists if, uh, if you have different online marketing needs. It will allow you to not uh, bother your, your friends about what you do online uh, for your business. Okay, so uh, here it says allowed on timeline. I'm not sure why it says that because when I look I see it for every post. So if if anyone knows why, uh, let me know. Uh, okay, if I go back to my timeline, uh, I'm going to do something else that I can be very interesting if you click on little arrow here and then you click on view as. That's an interesting feature. It shows, it, is, it says this is how your timeline looks to the public, including subscribers. So the people if who come on your page on your timeline, that's what they would see. So you, you could click add friend they they could see that these people D Westcott Kevin Hager they would they could uh, choose to add to add these people as friends. Uh, I won't do it because I am on my page, but I see it right now as if it wasn't my my page. If if it wasn't me, or it was some th somebody else. It says here that you can enter a friend's name. I won't do that, but I guess that if I did, uh, I'm not sure what it would do. But uh, it's part of uh, showing the, the the timeline to to f someone else. Uh, maybe as it would sh as it would appear for the person's name if I wrote it here. Uh, okay, so you can click on back to timeline here, or you can simply, as always, do uh, you click on the right uh, here at the top right, and you can back get back to your timeline. So these are uh, minor things that you can do if you want to click. If you want to go to your news feed, the, the place to click on is here f on the, the top left uh, where you see the word Facebook or, well, you probably know that if you see receive friend requests there would be a red number here uh, on this icon or private messages would appear here. Uh, if you click actually you would see who, would s who had sent you private messages or if you have notifications there would be a number here so that you would know uh, if anybody uh, wrote a comment on something that you were interested in or something like that. So time's up for the second video, so I will continue this series in the third video and, and so forth. Bye-bye.